de la Réunion, de la Réunion, de la I had a son of a man who the 
the, 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 the best that is not called man of God fled with the mother and daughter because of issues in the name of the river. If women can open up and set you the things they go through, women are easily, women are easily a victim of deception. Why? Because most ladies don't pay attention to the world. If it is not easy, I can't do it. So let's go. Number two, we'll just stay with you because of that. A spiritually tired woman is a woman that is into witchcraft. Men who can be wizard, so don't think it's being sexist. No, I'm just preaching. Men who can be wizards. It's a woman that is into witchcraft, doing wickedly, and influencing those around her, a few of us will be saved. It's like the story of the first king to the world. One to twenty nine. First thing twenty one, one to twenty nine. That's the story I was telling you. That Ahab cannot get the buyer. Jezebel got him from him. First thing one to twenty one to twenty five. Take that person. First thing twenty one to twenty five. Let's read that together. First thing twenty one to twenty five. Are you there? Turn off. First thing twenty one to twenty five. Let's read. Okay. That was no one like who Ahab. Ahab was a man, a king. If you say a leader, president, president, or leader, and you think we can do two things, is that that man is not listening to the wife, or the wife is a wicked woman. Because when a woman would like something, he will, she will resist it. You are doing wickedly, and the woman is with you. She will tell her, what are you doing? She will shout to my lawyers. When you say a leader doing wickedly, two things. This leader is hard, strong, he has lost consciousness, knows that there is no, this is no more in this world, it's the sort of world, the kingdom of the devil, or the woman is wicked. So let's continue. But there was no like they have no solution to wickedness in the sight of what the Lord. Why? Because this leader is right. I don't know the story of the president who lost an election from the African country. The story of the wife. That country, they were going to see the war because of that election from him. And they said it was the wife that was tearing the man up, not to give up power. And when they were to deal with the stuff, it was the man that they took and locked up. You know, so with a spiritual dead man can steer up your husband to do wicked. It can always steer up, it can steer up people against you. A spiritual dead man can organize a fast. That's a spiritual dead man. Let's go. A spiritual dead man is an immoral woman, sexually immoral man. I know you describe the word, you are not there. And if you are under the sound of my voice, and this discussion, revival is coming. Revival is coming. Shame is coming. In the name of Jesus. It's a sexual woman. Revelation 2 20 21. Revelation 2 20 21. The Bible says, for her, this against him. You let that woman this way. It's very first to She says she is a prophetess. But by her teachings, she leads my people to take back the sexual sin and to eat food that is offered to violence. Have you seen, have seen the video of a lady that says she's a preacher? When she's preaching, she wears a short skirt, she's busty, she all her privileges are swaying, the crowd just cover her this crowd, and people are in the press. <laughs> if you see her, if you're a man, you have to be completely there, completely there to see her and something just that. You don't know the other part of it. There's no anointing to destroy those type of things. It's for me to see. Our people are there. That's, 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 that's a spiritual dead one. That's a spiritual dead one. A woman that engaged in fornication, this man, I want to give you. 
I just don't know. That's an example of a spiritually dead woman. A woman that has a husband, and yet one day you go and be sleeping with another man. You know what? It's a beautiful woman. That's why you go for the woman. So you know what? You give me also. You give me a woman. A woman that can, she feels like you. She can just commit fornication, commit adultery, and she does not, there's nothing that is, her conscience is there. That's a spiritual dead woman. You see, I'm not making it up. Proverbs 7, 26 to 27. Proverbs 7, 26 to 27. You just talk to me. He said, But she cast down many wounded, and all who have stayed in the house of one strong man. Her house is the way to hell. Descending to the chambers of death. That was spiritually dead men for our fear of him. And last thing, a spiritually dead woman is a woman that is a busybody, that is a talkative, that has no regard for people. It's a woman that can just call and insult a husband, not mind him while in our fears. Are you not going to see women? That pick on men of God and put them down to shreds. I was listening to one recently that they said something to me. I just want to say, these men of God said, they think they are God. They think they are God. That's the spiritual that they are man. This is the right The woman that can normally do our business. The man that went to do it. The woman that cannot buy the way our business. A busy body. That's a to try the blood that concentrate and consistent attack on the particular ministry in Nigeria. That was the spiritual devil. And these guys are being declared by the people, they are moved by the devil, promoted by the devil. Don't defend them. Don't get them. Don't get them. Don't get them. That's a death. So people are walking, but they are already dead. That was spiritual devil. But do you know the future of it? The one I said that you are the second disciplinary tree left to the second disciplinary tree left to the But in the midst of all I have said, a spiritually dead woman with an encounter with Jesus can become a redeemed woman. You look at anyone to pray. You look at anyone to pray. You might not know, but if these things are said, describe any woman, any man, you are being but the moment those forces of darkness that make a woman dead, or a man as well, the moment you call the order of Jesus genuinely, you are the city in the church for years, and you kill yourself. But the moment there's an encounter of Jesus, you are the one who says, that he came from after all. That he went to every city and village, which is under the earth, that he went to every city and village, which is under the earth, bringing black ideas from the kingdom of God. And they heard about him. And sighting women. Someone says sighting women. It says sighting women. Because sighting women who are being healed of evil spirits. Evil what? Evil spirits. Sovereignness, fornication, adultery, wickedness, evil spirits. Men who have had this thing so they go by talking about women. And the families. Many come and live, out of whom have come seven demons. And Johanna, the one from Tusa, hello, Stephen, and Tusa, and many people have come to their ancestors. Look at this very well. The enemy tend to attack women to make them spiritually dead because of their assignment. When a woman is free, is on fire for God, they are movers. That brings us to who is now a revival. Because of just one. Because of just one. Who is the regard of man? Or a spiritually alive man? A regard of man is whether as a mother, whether as a sister, whether as a young girl or daughter, is a Holy Ghost filled, refresh, restore, renew, and transform woman. She is a prophetess, a woman of the world. She studies and in the Bible, two Timothy, two Timothy, two Timothy, two Timothy. 
She's studying and in the life of my life. Someone told me, true story, I'm telling you. One time, I'm telling someone. He said, I told my woman. It's not the woman that came to the church. It was him. He was passing through the church and the head He said, I told my woman. Ah, that church, you go in there. He said, because all the women there, they are on fire. He said, I've never seen women every day. He went to their prayer. He said, they are on fire. And the Lord will be one. When the Lord was going to the church, the Lord was going to do something. I was thinking to that man about three weeks or months back. Just by about this year, I was like, it's not the end of that year. Everything that she was having as prayer went, you know God has not found it. Yeah. 
The Bible says they are protected with power and wonder. If you read down to 29, and it says, I will show wonders. So as they are prophesying, wonders are big. As they are prophesying, the sick are big. I want you to understand the sick, all the women, the women. I give you one minute. Prophesy. Prophets to open their mouth. I don't think somebody prophesy as well. Open your mouth. It's an order to do and prophesy on yourself, on your children. Tell yourself, I'm a great woman. I'm a strong woman. I can't be the doctor. No one can replace me. I will not die before my time. I'm the best woman. I'm enlightened. I'm educated. I'm special. I'm beautiful again. Every organ in my body is working well. My face looks good. My teeth is cracking. My heart is cracking. I don't need any artificial uh, makeup. I don't need any artificial salt. My ear is cut well. My ear is cut wonderfully made. I can read my ear and it's not a little I don't need to pay anything to make myself an extended sophistication. I'm a great woman. I'm a child of the most high. Wherever I go, there are changes. Wherever I go, there are splendid. Wherever I go, people start at ease because I am humble. I'm a divine woman in Jesus' name. God bless you. You know, surprise some of you just think that you have to make money. And the only ghost has come upon you. That's why it's why you just think it's such a name. Oh yeah. It's not only for the men. You have that power. You are in the test. That's what the Bible said. It's if you want to sign. If you don't say say your sons and your daughters, if you don't say men, you know. It's not about your men servants and your men servants. So why would they tell you you are supposed to sit in the job and be silent? Why would they tell you you are not supposed to be the servant? You are a God's chosen prophetess. Now, see, according to 1 Corinthians 14, 3 to 4, 1 Corinthians 14, 3 to 4, prophecy is meant to strengthen, to encourage, to comfort, to edify. The revived woman is the one that speaks strength, is the one that encourages, that comforts. She comforts herself. She comforts her husband. She revives her community, her family. And that is the one that will come up and say, My husband may not have this now, but I promise I will have it. I know I have one person in my life who I have in one room. Only one is in one room. Only one room. In the, and we are coming from a two bedroom with AC, two cars, to one room. Just imagine. Two cars, two bedrooms, every room has AC, in the city room, to one room. One room. And the public says, no, it can't be. And the public says, pastor, Three days dry fast. I was in a silly Muslim. I'm on my way to right there. Just feeling about them. I said, you know, I'm on my way to right there. I want to do that. The prophet has said, no, this is not our life. I think it's just like you can understand what I'm talking about as a woman. When we were walking in Nigeria, we were walking in the, in the, in the back, and I was hard working, very hard working. So they promoted all my mates that were getting back together as senior executive, executive assistants. And me, I was just there as an executive assistant, just there. So I, I've been taught in my life as a Muslim that whatever happened is the will of God. So I was telling my wife, this is my career. I said, Mr. Miller, and she said, no, if you got 
people of God were very men to be promoted. And you are just hard working, not to be promoted. I said, you say yes. It's not the will of God. I said, you say it's not the will of God. So I said, okay, the end is coming to our ground. I'm going to speak to you. So that's what we should do. You know, I told him the end. I told him, I said, I'll be in this bank, I've been working. I'm one of the most hard working staff. He told the lawyer, I said, two managers, one for marketing and one for operations. He said, is it true? He said, yes. It's hard working, better hard working. As I said, why are they not going to them? That's the current system. And you come to the religious world and start playing with the government and you know what's That's the current system. He said, is it true? He said, yes. He said, before the day ends, you will be promoted. Before the day ends, I had the call, they have been promoted. Why? Because a woman moved. That's what the woman is supposed to do. To move, to speak encouragement, and fire, to strengthen. Not that you don't come and look at the man and say, good for nothing now. Look at you. Nobody that is a prophet will be speaking and the fire words and speaking words of the people. James said it, it's in the Bible. Every time it's in the Bible. Let's, let's take an official form of man. It says, he never left ugly or hateful words come from the mouth. But if he is telling to watch the world become beautiful gifts that can only use for us, do this by speaking words of grace to help them. Blessing to our family, blessing to community, blessing to nation. A man that prophesied cannot be a man that will prophesy me to walk back. Because he walked out of the way. Ah, you have to know see some men. When they are in the desert, when I was in, in Lagos, because I didn't grow up in Nigeria, I know where I grew up. We don't really frustrate, we don't greet anybody, we don't really frustrate for anybody. I will go through all this ceremony we have in the Nibaba culture. I don't know if I was in the Nibaba, in the in the We greet people, shake hands. Whether you are older than you are older than you are young, we greet, shake hands. We call our, some of us call our mothers, our mothers. Imagine our mothers, Sisi. Imagine. We call our mothers, Sisi. Our mothers. You know? So, oh, in Nigeria, I saw some things. I saw, I saw. I'm not in Lagos. Lagos, Lagos Island. I'm so sorry, this is I said, but I don't want to say it. You know, they will be cussing all men. I'm looking. And they'll be talking to their children. They say, oh, your, is your head correct? Your head will be. They will see you shake like this, they'll be behind like this. Women. They'll still put some room. That's the devil. You are alive in Christ. James says in James 3 8 to 12, James 3 8 to 12, I just want to read it. It says you cannot beat out good and bad from the mouth. It's too funny because I just want to summarize it. It says, out of the same mouth that bless him for sin, cause him was not born from the mouth. So if you are a prophet, and it's time to prophesy and bless and revive. No matter how angry you are, no matter your emotions, so that you know the Lord is going to be able to speak about sin. I just said, I said, I have never, throughout my parents' day, my own father and mother, it's only once I saw them angry. Only once in the uh, or something. That was when my father went to get that was the second, the third wife. When they the third one. Oh, you don't care. That was when I, I never that went from the other way that was going to college school. He was in the world, no matter what he was. So that's the only thing. 
a woman who belongs to the Abyss. A divine woman is a woman that her mind is with you. You ask her to come to you. Her mind is with you. She has no time for humanity. She has no time for gossip. She cannot be deceived. As I know this, I want us to see joy for is nine to forty three. Nine to forty three. Let's see. Judges, judges, five seven. Judges, five seven. Judges, five seven. Let's see this together. I'm closing now. Let's see together. Z A I C C. It sees the issue of the eye that the mother has, and also the mother in the eye. What it means is that there was a time in this world that the men were oppressed. There was so much money that some people ran away from the villages. They ran away from oppression, they ran away from wickedness. They were so oppressed that they ran away. That's why it's a village life sees. All the good life, you know how good life is the fine life, the peaceful life, you know. But they were so oppressed by unbelievers, external forces, that people were running away the from the village. There was wickedness going on in the way that it was supposed to have it. And I would say, village life sees. On the revival one. And the government woman stood up on the eye of the brother, what? And the mother in the hours. There is so much unhappiness in our world now. Imagine I was reading the story of a boy, um, of a boy, a dear old, a nasty boy, a law, a law of a graduate, that was killed. And why did they kill him? They said because of the woman who still his other jacket. That's wickedness. For someone to be starved because of a family business that you're going to steal inside, that's wickedness. The point that they are left the right in our mind, I don't know if they are there, maybe it's okay. They said it's hard to be sword. When you see that boy, it's like someone that you can even know and you can apply it. Because they are left in our mind. Fourteen. If you see small, let us know as brother. Fast, has already been dropped. Oh, you look so clean, so clean. It's the sword. Our Lord is going through some issues. And God wants us to stand up as we will. To stand up as mothers. To stand up as Christians. The Lord arose and took a stand in this world. Is a lot and stand up. Stand up in prayer, stand up in fasting, stand up for our own people, stand up for our communities, stand up as the mother, stand up for your husband, stand up for your family. Let us bring the desired change. This pandemic has brought a lot of pain on people, and God is with you. New media, yes, come on. I want you to pray and say, Father, if there's only one person you are anointing today, let it be me. If there's only one man today you are anointing, if there's only one man you are inviting today, let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. If there's only one man, only one person today that you are anointing, let it be me. And set me on fire. That will take a stand of our goodness. And I'm going to make of our tired and weak. I am going to make my bones, strengthen my bones, give me spiritual strength, and lighten my eyes to the sun as a woman in the name of Jesus Christ. And I will release the ability of God to do the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we bless you. If you like to rise, or you feel you are a woman and you need fresh fire for signing one of the I just want you to raise your hand and we will pray for you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Tell your Lord, listen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Father, on all the throne of the faithful that are in the church, all the ladies that are asking for fresh fire, fresh power, release upon them in Jesus' name. Those that need to be revived, to be on fire, set them on fire right now in Jesus' name. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. And for those that have been saved for that reason, write their name in the book of life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Somebody shout, Jesus! Psalm 91. 